I'm Stuart McConaughey here at Titans of CNC, and I'm here with the Doosan Minx 6500 Hard Mill. This is a beast machine that has a couple crazy features that allows it to excel in hard material cutting and hard difficult machining. Because it has all that strength in it, we need a really good setup. To do that, we're actually going to go with the Shunk KSG 160 vise. This is a perfect vise for this application, and I'm going to go through and show you the whole process. Since we just got them, we're going to flip them over and stone the back of the vise. This is an important thing that you must do in any new setup. It'll go through and make sure that the vise is properly contacting the table. Once those are all stoned and perfect and ready to go, we can then go ahead, hand wipe down our table. Your hand has little grooves in it and it allows you to pick up all the fine little chips. Once we have our table nice and clean, we're gonna go ahead and lightly stone the table all the way across. We are gonna use WD-40 and it's something that you should do on any stoning surface. We're gonna lay each vise down precisely and carefully. Whenever you have a new machine and you're setting it up, you have to know your clearances, your limits of how far you can go left, right, forward and back, so that way you know your machining envelope. We have these vices specifically placed, so that way we have clearance on both sides for our probe and our face mill. These vices have an adjustable clamping force from four newton meters to 40 newton meters, which is about 900 foot-pounds to 9,000 foot-pounds of clamping pressure. It allows us to have incredible flexibility when we machine, from delicate op Bs where we have to lightly clamp to very strong, crazy op As where we need to really grab onto that part with all of the heavy cutting that this 50 taper machine can do. These vices are also incredibly easy to clean. All we have to do is pull out our slide pin and our whole slide assembly actually pulls out where we can clean out any chips or any debris. Another great thing is how indexable and how customizable each of these vices are. They have different jaws, grips, sides, stops. All of it is something that is super important and you want to have that flexibility in your machine because it allows you to cut so many different parts. Now that I have all the vices roughly put in and perfectly measured even on my table, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a bar of material. This is a quick little trick where I can go through and roughly line up my vices. The bar isn't perfect, but it'll put the vices in roughly the spot I need so I can quickly indicate them and get them all perfectly straight. You always wanna make sure that each vise is dead in the same Y position as all the others. So that way, whenever you put a part in, it'll be perfectly straight. So once I have all my vices in the rough spot and roughly indicated, I'm gonna go ahead and lightly tighten them all down, remove my bar of material, and then go back and triple double check and indicate each one all in line, perfectly straight. So I just got done setting up my vices. They're all indicated perfectly straight and we're now ready to touch off our Kenamental Harvey Ultra 8X tool. This machine has a Fanuc IO control. It's super easy to use and with a couple quick steps, you can easily tool change and call up any tool you need. Vices are set, our tool is touched off. We're now ready to test this machine with our first cut. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit like and subscribe and be sure to check out our future videos.